As much as we know things are in the hands of Allah, some people struggle with anxiety because they don't know what's going to happen tomorrow and perhaps they need a boost of faith. My brothers, my sisters, I am here to tell you that nothing will harm you except if Allah has written it against you. And no good will come in your direction except if Allah has written it for you. So lay your trust in Allah, try your best and be pleased with whatever the outcome is. You've lost a loved one. You're not the first person to lose a loved one, but it is difficult. It is very hard. We do know people may shed tears. Their lives may change when the breadwinner is lost. And when they don't know how he used to earn, suddenly things come crashing. And for this reason, I've come across many people who've lost income completely after the death of a breadwinner because that breadwinner did not inform the family or anyone how they were earning, what they were earning, what to do if they died. They didn't expect to die, but death comes very unexpectedly. <laughs> when the fixed time of Allah comes, it's not going to be delayed. So prepare for that day by letting some of your loved ones know if I die, this is how my business runs. If I die, this is how you will earn. This is how you will live and so on. If possible, may Allah make it easy for us. But that having been said as believers, you need a ton of faith in Allah in order to go through difficulty and hardship. And that's why I've chosen today to speak about conviction that is required to overcome anything. If you don't have that faith in Allah and you don't have that reliance on Allah, and if you don't trust Allah, you will be so sad. You will not be able to live a day. When I die, where am I going? I promise you, I trust Allah and his mercy. And I trust that I'm going to a better place. I have no option, subhanAllah. I tried a little bit here and there. I seek forgiveness from Allah on a daily basis. I know I'm not an angel. I've committed sin here, there. We are human beings, but we seek the forgiveness of Allah. We are relatively good people, inshallah. We hope that Allah will give us paradise and we will die with that conviction and we will not let shaitan tamper with us to make us think that you are far from the mercy of Allah. When we have heard Allah is Ghafoor, Rahim, Tawwab, Ghaffar, etc. Wadood, most loving, most kind, most forgiving, most compassionate. I know those qualities of Allah. Why should I doubt Allah? For what?